So the idea of a kenosis theology has been around for quite some time. And in the classical Christian tradition, it's primarily a way to talk about somehow God being divested of certain attributes as revealed in Jesus Christ. It's related to the Chalcedonian Creed, etc. But in contemporary times, more and more people are setting aside the Trinitarian issue and saying really what that Philippians passage, and the Kenosis appears in other places, but the, the Philippians 2 passage is really emphasizing is that in some way this Jesus of Nazareth tells us something about who God is. And if you look at the passage closely, it talks about God uh, being a servant, uh, giving oneself to others, uh, enabling others, etc. So I think of kenosis in terms of the self-giving, others-empowering love of God. And I think Jesus reveals that in powerful ways. I believe that this self-giving, other-empowering love tells us something about God's essential nature. So most canonic theologians today will say that God voluntarily made a choice to be self-limited in giving freedom or agency to the created order. And God could, and sometimes maybe occasionally does, become unself-limited to do a miracle here or a resurrection here or something like that. Um, the problem, of course, with that approach is the problem of evil, because if God does it sometimes, why not other times? Um, the process tradition, of course, has its own answer to this, and where it says that God is inherently limited. Either if you listen, if you read Alfred North Whitehead, he'll talk about God being in the clutches of creativity. Uh, David Griffin, one of my um, influential persons in my life, talks about the metaphysical laws that God must obey. Charles Hartshorn talks about the social nature of reality. When a lot of people hear those kinds of, that language, it sounds to them as if God is being externally limited, some sort of outside force or factor. My proposal says that this kenosis of God, this self-giving others empowering love, comes from God's very nature. It's not some sort of external. Sometimes I even call it an involuntary self-limitation. So it's an idea that God's nature of love necessarily gives freedom, agency, existence to others, and God can't withdraw, override, or fail to give this freedom, agency, etc., to creation. So kenosis is really essential to God, and yet it's not some outside force forcing God to do certain things.